Hey guys, Grim here. Before we begin the video, I might as well give you a quick update of what's been going on. You might have noticed that my um, uploading schedule has been a little bit wonky as of late. It's because sometime around May, my schedule for work has been shifted, so now I have probably a little bit less time to do stuff. So I'm going to try to get what I can over. I know as of now, there are like three updates that have just passed. We're currently on a event right now but I'll be talking about that when we get to there and I'm hoping to catch myself up pretty soon and the other reason is that I'm gonna be starting back on live streams over on Twitch with uh, which I've been what I did back in the uh, last year and even a bit this year but I've been kind of lacking and I wanted to continue but this is just a quick update to before we start the video I mean here are some things to keep in mind for what's coming up moving forward now, all past content that I've missed during my first starting of recording has now been pretty much recorded and are in the process of being edited to the point. So while I'm doing the current update, you'll also see some past content pop up as well. So be on ready for the lookout on that. If I do miss anything during those updates that people like me to go further on in detail, let me know and I'll make sure to, fur to address that whenever the next update comes in. Uh, there will be um, there are four other older videos that I've done back in February that I've up like I've uploaded a few episodes before, like the Let's Play. There are four videos I've recorded and has just posted now, so that will be coming up soon. And after the the attack on the graveyard ghouls up um, storyline, all the future content from past stories will be on their own video. So basically, much like how I've been doing these as of late, where it's focusing on just a story update, or like what I've done with um, the murder of Clown Street kind of deal with Theodore. So there's that. Last but not least, uh, I have also recorded four of the scare monster scenes that haven't gotten them the books yet. These include the Blue and Hound Ghost from When the Ghost Dog Howls, the Shaggity from Here Comes a Shaggity, the Evil Knight from Knight and Screaming Armor, and of course the Executioner from, or I should call him the Lord High Executioner from the the night and terror tower kind of update so the reason I'm holding them off is because I have a feeling that these things will be coming later on down the line as updates on their own when those come in there I will be doing that and showing you the videos I've recorded for them so be on the lookout for that anyways that's about it for the update so apologies on this little rant thing <laughs> a little update on this video but uh, here you go here's the video you've been expecting so enjoy Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another edition of the Goosebumps Horror Town. Tonight's episode is going to be a little bit different compared to the other one. It is not a new content update per se, but we are going to be looking at a storyline that was updated way back in August. And this was by request by a certain individual who has been watching me as of late and really wanted to see this fully completed. So I've decided to grant their wishes and present them here. So this is why this video is being presented. Now as I said during my update thing, there are videos coming through and there should be more updates coming with all this stuff. Basically I'm going to try to get myself caught up so everything's there to go. So in this video there are going to be two parts. This first one's going to be looking at the first part to this quest line. You get this when you get to level 30 and uh, this will not require anything but the unlocking of a certain area and the that's about pretty much it it's very lengthy i will say the least the new characters that got added to the game they will be more so focused on in the next video update so this is just basically the starting of the storyline the other thing too that i've basically done is i've decided to change and play around with my voice um as you know when it comes to my voice acting skills I haven't really been the greatest when it comes to female voices. So I've decided to play around and give a unique 
that of voices to some of these characters that we're going to see. So that way it gives a little bit more charm and hopefully lasts a little longer. But regardless, you probably are waiting. So why don't we just dive right into the story, shall we? So right here, we get the 30 update and we got the Cynthia pack. Now I should let you know that this is old recording. This has actually taken place during the Halloween update. And then the, the second video is going to have a little bit more during the Aban Abominable Snowman update. So this is like near the end of October going into November. This whole thing has been recorded. So what you're seeing here is past updates and then me being post commentary over top of it. So... You probably have seen this a little bit before, but I'm going to show it again. Here are the new updates that you get during level 30. And like I said, during level 30, this was uh, part of the storyline, but there was also something else that got added to the game. Now that itself will not be addressed in this video, but it will be addressed in its own separate video. And it will also be focusing on the gimmick kind of protect that was added to this story. So while that's going on, Let's dive into the story here. So once you get to level 30, you get this quest pop-up by uh, Lucy. So, here we go. Let's see. The search for 8-year-old Cynthia Jones continues. The girl who reportedly hasn't been seen for days. Authorities affirm that all available resources are being used to find her. However, the debate around officially priorities for those responsible for the case has been unleashed. Opinions are mixed at best, and it is my duty to communicate to listeners what's happening on the streets. Citizens expect their government to take action on this issue. Mrs. Johnson, your city needs you. Emily, we have to find Cynthia. Her safety depends on us. Come on! So this is the first one. You get an extended folder, a monster database, and degradation files. Now, I hope that my voice's changing pitch is not going to be cringe-worthy, but my hope is that it makes it a little bit more unique to the story. That's my hope, anyways, because I'm doing this post-editing, and because I was playing around in, during my um, the Easter update that just passed back in uh, April, I figured, you know what? I'm doing this anyways, a post-edit. Might as well make some fun of it. So, again, this is just part of the past uh, with the bundle that I've purchased. And if you've seen my Halloween playthrough, you probably have already seen some of this before. But I'm going to basically show this again, just so you know what this update has in store. So you get this as soon as you turn level 30. And you get access to a new scare area, which will be addressed. I don't know if it's going to be addressed here. Oh, yeah, okay. So up here, this is the Hasley Toy Factory. You need one authority ring, which is the black one, and a few coins, which I'm not sure how much that costs, because I didn't. I was too fat. This was during the day. This was back in the day when I didn't really care. Or not really care, but you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really take focus on, like, okay, let me pause this for a little second so I have some time for me to read. This was more or less on the go kind of deal. But yeah, this, it, it brings back memories, this going back to the Halloween stuff down there. It's like, ah, oh, I remember back then. That was some pretty good times. My God, my town has really upgraded since back then. Uh, something, uh, fun fact. Although you may get Cynthia earlier during this timeline, if you do get for the Cynthia pack, you will not be able to play through her quest line until you finish the first part of the story. Just to give you a little word, uh, like to let you know. And I will address this in the second part and talk more about it, but there was a good reason why people wanted me to kind of look at this, uh, this story, is because of Cynthia herself. Because, unfortunately, in some of this story, you will not be able to participate unless you have Cynthia. Because she is required for at least five. But she won't be noticed until the next part. So, there you go. Yay, you got Cynthia. With an S. Not a, uh... Now, let's see. Here's the other character that got added into the game for this update, which is Selma. For four... 440,000 coins. And what's interesting about Selma is that she comes with a car, or not a car, but a van of sorts, which is weird because it's not like it's a RV. It looks like it's actually like a little van, but 
I don't know. It's it's like an old 60s kind of buggy van feel thing there. But yeah, I think this was when I was trying to figure out where to put this. But um, what's interesting about uh, Selma is that they give her more of a story. And I, this is part of the reasons why I like this game is that they give kind of like their own original characters, but they've added to it so that it kind of makes sense and weaves in. So Selma herself didn't really appear in the Goosebumps books. Neither has some of the other characters like Lucy and Dustin. But they fit so well because they kind of have that demographic of like, oh, the typical nerd girl and the typical, like, you know, the tomboy, you know. Selma's landing in the tomboy setting. So you need VR goggles. Take a nap in the motor home. That's a motor home. That's interesting. Record a compact VHS and ride a skateboard. By the way, I will confirm in this update. This this whole town is taking place during the 90s when Goosebumps was at its prime. So you're going to see stuff like VHS or when they talk about, oh, the internet. And it's like, the internet? What's that? It's like, oh, yeah, well, we know what it is now. But back then, when the internet was just, like, not a normie thing. And it was like only for nerds. Because back then, it was like, ooh, look what I can do. And this was before, like, it popped. And I think here I'm going to show off one of Selma's... Uh, animations. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go for. I think it's the VR goggles. Maybe? Or is it a compact VHS? Let's see which... What What do I choose? It's the VHS. Okay. My god, this brings me back. I remember seeing these like back in the day when you were actually wanting to record something. You have to use a VHS and you get this little dinky camera here. It's like one of those big bulky ones. Not like now where you can use your phone. Man, those were the days. Like, look at this. Man, she was a cool kid back then. Anyways, here comes some... After you get the items, here is the next part. Alright, Emily. Let's recap. Cynthia got lost six days ago while you were playing hide-and-seek in Mr. Harrison's cornfield. And from what we discovered there, he could have been scared by the scarecrows and fled. I had my eyes closed because I was counting. So I don't know which directions he could have gone. But there must have been a witness somewhere who could give us a clue as to her whereabouts. Mr. Harrison's in police custody and we can't talk to him, but we can ask the neighbors. Come on, Emily. Let's go to the farm and take a look around. I forgot to mention that this takes place after the Scarecrow mission. Good evening, ma'am. We're investigating the Cynthia Jones case. Could you tell us where you were when she disappeared? Let me think. I was sitting on the porch because it was a nice day, neither too hot nor too cold. I remember I saw my granddaughter Emily go with her to Mr. Harrison's cornfield. Then I went inside to watch TV. I never missed a fair price. Are you a police officer? No, ma'am. I'm a private detective. I work for my client. Thanks for the help, Grandma. Place some uh, piles of hay, place some grain silos, and have her... Let's see, what is she doing? Looking for clues at Cynthia's whereabouts. But you need the stylo, which I'm going to be doing here. So yeah, this takes place right after the uh, Scarecrow walks at midnight. And I know this is odd because I'm doing this out of order. But then again, I'm doing it by request. Everything's going to be at the end of the day i might make a playlist of showing you the stories coming through but what's interesting about this episode is that again this was updated in august and we're gonna meet a character that we know now but this was an interesting revelation back then i won't spoil it just yet but it will explain a whole lot of uh of why this certain character's level is very odd but anyways, for here, we're going to take a quick look at her riding a tricycle. That was one of the missions she'll do eventually. And all we need now for this second part is uh, getting us some hay. And by the way, this is so long ago that this was not when the books were here. And that they still had like a part 1, 2 out of 10 kind of deal. And then after the update with the books, they're like, nah, we're not going to we're not gonna do that no more. Oh, yeah, and then we get the pumpkins. I remember those. Oh, man, it's been so long. Have you found some from Lucy? 
I found this toy. It's an Annihilator 3000. I recognized it because it's Justin's favorite. Even though it's damaged, it's clearly like new. It must have been left here very recently. Hmm, do you think it could have belonged to Cynthia? That just doesn't seem like it's something she would own. I don't know, but I don't think any kid would have thrown this toy away. It's too valuable. We'll take it to Eric. Maybe he can give us a clue. Meanwhile, we must continue investigating. Also, if I forget to write certain notes, or like, uh, quest lines, or mispronounce certain words, apologies. I mean, this is better than what it was once before. And, uh, I'm just trying to think as well. There was something else. I was just watching this, and I'm just like, oh, no. Uh, some of the things are stuttering. That was because I had to slow down the, uh, uh, the video so it matches with the audio instead of it kind of going quickly. Because this was when I was tapping away like mad. Here are his part three. Eric, we found this toy and we think it could be a clue to find Cynthia. Can you tell us if there's anything about it that catches your attention? Well, because of the antenna, I can say this Annihilator 3000 is a Model 90. It's very hard to get, even for collectors. You see, that year many parents returned the toy to the manufacturer, claiming it had hidden microphones and cameras. It was said to be a spying tool of the government to detect communism, and the following year they removed the antenna. Let me investigate a little more and see if it's related to Cynthia's disappearance. Search information on the anti 3000, get a composite kit, and get ultra... A scanner thing again too quick but this is interesting because we get to oh wait we're probably going back there so let's see this the ultra sonic scanner so yeah it was kind of close so in order to get this you'll need one of the radios and then two of the oh, walkie talkie but you know what I'm talking about you can see it right there but anyways let's see him looking for the annihilator 3000 it gives us two so that makes it convenient and ooh, look at that. He's building himself a robot. And this is sad because this this toy comic thing. Oh, hold on a second. We still don't know if the Annihilator 3000 has anything relation to Cynthia. Eric needs time to investigate. Meanwhile, we should continue interrogating the neighbors near Mr. Harrison's cornfield. You're from around here, Emily. Is there anyone you think we should talk to first? Well, there is a boy that catches my attention. Do you think he could be involved in the case? No, but I've always wanted to talk to him, and I've never had the chance. Oh, boy, eh? I wonder who that could be. I really wonder who that could be. Hmm. Man, this will be very interesting to see. I know I'm, I'm just talking all over the place, but here we go. Excuse me. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating the disappearance of Cynthia Jones. Why do you ask? Am I under suspicion or something? I don't want to have problems with cops. Well, look, everybody, it's Will Blake from the, uh, the Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Wow, we get to finally see him in this episode. Holy. Relax. These are just routine questions. Could you tell us your name and when you last saw Cynthia Jones? My name is Will Blake. B L A K. And the last time I saw Cynthia was over a month ago. I don't know anything. Why is everyone so interested in her? I already told everything I knew to that mad scientist. Mad scientist? Thanks for your statement, Will. It was very helpful. Ask Dr. Frederick uh, some questions, obtain a file. So yes, this is the first time anyone got Dr. to me- Fredericks, could you tell us what you were doing on the day of Cynthia Jones' disappearance? Cynthia Jones? It's took to me not. I don't even know who that person is. But I hope she's fine. Dr. Fredericks, as you previously worked with us, I'll grant you the benefit of the doubt. Although the description of mad scientist matches, I will presume that you aren't the one we're looking for. Hey, I'm not the only mad scientist in the city. Sorry, Spidey, but in situations like these, it's 
Wow, these are just going too quickly. I can't really speak on anything. But yes, uh, this might explain why the story with Will is level 27 because this is level 30. So it gives you a good context of storyline plot making sense. Professor Sock, my name is Lucia Del Rio. I'm a private detective investigating Cynthia Jones' case. I don't care who you are, girl. Get off my property right now. There are witnesses who can place you in the vicinity of the incident around of the time of her disappearance. I don't know anything about that girl. I've never been near Mr. Harrison's cornfield. Now get out of here. It's funny you bring that up, Shock. You see, I never mentioned Mr. Harrison's cornfield. He warned you. Now you see what happens to brats who stick their nose in other people's businesses. Arrgh! Man, you don't have to be so edgy about it. Drive away meddlesome detectives. Obtain monster database. If you have, um, if you have Professor Shock, this will make it a lot more easier. By the way, uh, I'm gonna show a little bit of his spawn here, but honestly, I'm gonna do more focus on him directly when it comes to his little update. Speaking of which, I'm gonna do a little rant right now. You, oh my god, taking getting 400 bucks without buying money for his bundle really really a bit of a challenge i will say holy but what are you gonna do it's it's what it is which is weird because i know there is a bundle with him but when i was playing i did not get the bundle pop up so i'm wondering if that's the case i don't think there's anything unique in his bundle pack i would say I don't recall any of those, but yeah. Anyways, like I said before, with uh, Werewolf of Fever Swamp, that was on level 27 despite being added in February. Now you understand why, because it gives context to having the, oh god, what do you call it, the this, this toy terror storyline to make sense of why he gets added in there. Also what's funny is that, oh hold on a second. Professor Shock. Lucy, watch your mouth. You're right, Emily. I'm sorry. I can't lose my head now. But it's driving me crazy that Cynthia's still lost and we can't find her. I'm sure Shock had something to do with this, and I'm going to prove it. Wow, she said a swear. That's not good. Lucy, I disarmed the Annihilator 3000 and found a terminal it uses to connect to the database. However, there's a problem. To access the server, I need to do it through the internet. The internet? What's that, Eric? The internet is set up interconnected communication networks that uses the TCP IP family of protocols to found a unique logical network of worldwide scopes. Um, okay. Ugh, never mind. I'll go to Spidey's lab. I'm sure I can access the network with his cyborg hacker. Go to Spidey's lab and get a cyborg hacker. But yeah, um, Professor Shock does help you with getting the monster database, and uh, it's relatively fine. Uh, yeah, so you need two of the electric, I think the detector, which you get in the mystery labs, and then you need one of those, which if you have certain premium characters, they will drop the, um, the electric things, you know what I mean? Yeah, these things. <clears throat> but for some reason, I'm having to do that. Objectives. Charge battery. True. Capture Cynthia Jones. True. Search Agent X. False. We've done it, Eric. Look, we've accessed what looks like a list of objectives related to Cynthia. I'm certain these evil toys have a mission to capture Cynthia. But why? I don't know, Spidey. But the only thing that matters now is finding her. Finding Agent X? Who... who is Agent X of all things? Lucy, the Annihilator 3000 you found had the task of capturing Cynthia. Although Robbie had failed, its goal has been accomplished. Therefore, other toys were involved. Robbie? Who's Robbie? Also, what other toys? It's just robots! Robbie? You named the robot? Yes. Can I keep it? No way! That spy robot could be transmitting information right now. 
I'm sorry, Eric, but you'll have to get rid of it. And now we have to find out where the factory is. Ah, oh, Killjoy. Find out the address of the toy factory, investigate more about the toy factory, obtain flashcards. I don't know how much flashcards. Let's find out how many flashcards. Six. You need six of the flashcards. Thank you very much, Pascrum. It seems like you can get them real easy, so... The, you just have to wait for them to be done with, you know, doing the investigation thing. And, uh... Yeah, we'll just do all this stuff here and have them... Yeah, we'll have these guys just do these so they'll make my life a little easier. I did not realize that Maisel drops two of the flashcards. Huh. I'm certain I told you that your library membership had been suspended permanently. I'm sorry, Mr. Mortman, but this is the only library in the city, and I need to solve my case. Don't worry. Your little, uh, secret is safe with me. Now, please, could you return my library card? <sighs> Here's your card. But I warn you that I won't show mercy if I find you running your mouth about me. Thank you, Mr. Mortman. No grudges, right? Of course, no grudges. Now. If you don't have any more business here, I would appreciate you leaving. Ah, uh, Mr. Mortman being Mr. Mortman. So there's two more, three more quests coming up. So let's take a look. It says here that Mr. Whittles, the Hazley Toy Factory's founder, had to resign after being accused of espionage. Then they put in a new CEO. However, unofficially sources say he's only a front for the real power. Apparently, Mr. Whittle still leads the factory from the shadows. Yeah, that's weird, and uh, I really don't know why exactly. I think this was during the time when the book came out, uh, the book feature came out. So this was like near the late of October, and Toy Terror batteries included. Like, there's no more numbers. But anyways, I'm just... Uh, here we go. Here, here's more of this. Eric, did you get the address of the factory? Yes, Lucy. Here you go. It's not far from here. All right. Let's go investigate. Expand the Hoysa Toy Factory. Get um, some folders. And, oh, look, we did There's the Hasley Factory. It's pretty impressive. If Cynthia is in there, we should expect some kind of resistance. I'm ready to go in if you are. I'm ready. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go. Oh good, we're all good to go. So let's take a look at this real quick. The Hazley Toy Factory, you got 10 robots, or two, three little robots. You got the uh, secret character of Cynthia, which we've already spoiled as a robot. And then we got this little guy. So I'm gonna show all these guys off later on. So don't worry, all of them are gonna get their own shepherd thing. So let's continue on with the story. Is anyone there? Help, I'm Cynthia Jones. I'm locked in here. Please, help! Oh, no. Cynthia, it's me, Emily. Can you hear me? We have come to rescue you. Hold on, we're close. Soon you'll be free, Cynthia. Just wait a little longer. Eric, quick, open the door. Activating security protocol. Exit, destroy the intruders. Exit, destroy the intruders. Aw, oh, look at the little robot. It's so adorable. Oh no, it's an army of robots. Quick, Eric! You open the door to rescue Cynthia while I distract them. Hey, Tang Tan Face, here I am. Isn't that it? Okay, activate the anti intruder security protocol. Oh, you do need Cynthia in order to continue. Okay. That I did not know. I just realized that now, so that is kind of crappy. So yeah, so I'm going to show off the three like the freemium currency robots here with the little i think they're the 3000 or and then that one's the four no these might be the 2000 or 3000 i'm not sure what model these are but one of them's 3000 the other one's 4000 so i think these are 3000 let's take a close look at these little robots look at them they're all dinking around let's see them attack let's see if them attack somebody oh here we go yeah look at that <laughs> bip bip destroy the intruders Jesus. I, I'm going to say this right now, though. I'm kind of disappointed that... I know they focused on the Annihilator 3000 in the Goosebumps movie and then the games. But 
it would be really cool if they actually had other toys there. I mean, you had Nasty Ant. It was like the negative Toy Story. Like, you could have gone so much with this, but nah, it's just robots again. It's like, what a cop out. Like, woo. Like, it's almost like implied. Like, even with Cynthia, this character, it's like, it's not like she's a, like, like a Chucky doll. As far as I know, it's just a robot, so that kind of sucks. But then again, it's just my grievances. It's like, oh, I wanted this to be better. It's like, I'm a spoiled brat. It's like, nah. Anyways, here we go. Cynthia, we finally found you. Come on, let's get out of here. Certainly, person classified as friend. I must go to John's house. Ah, uh, okay, why are you sounding like that? Sir, Sin, you'll be home soon with your family. That's right. We'd better leave before more killer robots appear. Come on! Yeah, something's wrong with Cynthia. I'm not sure what it is, but she's kind of acting very strange. Although, maybe it makes sense because she was held hostage and she's young, so she probably is traumatized by the whole thing. Or maybe something else suspicious is going on, because you may have paid attention. Cynthia is spelt with a C, but this Cynthia is with an S. And I think they did it on purpose because it's like uh, sink, sinking in, or like the... I don't know what it is, like a signal. I think that's why they did the S in Calder's Cynthia instead of C, Cynthia. They both sound the same, so you know what I mean. So anyways, one more mission and then we're done. We've arrived at your house, Cynthia. I'm sure your family will be very happy to see you. Thank you, friend of mine. I will also be happy to see them. We've owed everything to Lucy and Eric. They were the true heroes of this story. Thank you, young adults. Can I go to Jones's house now? Uh, yes. Sure, Cynthia. Uh, come on, let's go. Return to home safe and sound. Escort Cynthia to her house, both Lucy and Emily. So, this is pretty much the end of the first part of this story. And uh, needless to say, this is kind of odd. So, it's interesting that you actually need to get Cynthia in order to complete this story. And I guess that would make sense because the next part, number two, is like half of it is with um, Cynthia and the other half is with Selma. And they both kind of correlate with one another. You'll see what I mean in a bit. And there's also more juicy plots in the second one, so it will be interesting to say the least. But uh, how did you like my little robot impersonations? It's not like I ran through with a text-to-speech and it's kind of altered it to make it sound like a little toy robot. But, you know, what can you do? Anyways, some time's passed and everyone's ready to go. So let's see the ending here. Cynthia. Oh, thank heavens you've returned. It's a miracle. A miracle! We were so worried, sis. Thank goodness this horrible nightmare has ended. Lucy, I don't know how to reward you for what you have done for us. You've given us back our lives. Our reward is knowing that Cynthia has safely returned to her family. Thanks to her cleverness and courage, Lucy and her friends have saved the day again. Apparently, these children are capable of unearthing any mysteries. Don't worry, they'll find me next. <laughs> oh, Curly, that voice of yours. Ooh, very sexy. <laughs> well, well, way to end the story, right? And uh, yeah, as you can see, both say, uh, Cynthia and Selma have quests. I will be taking a look at them because they are part of the part two chapter. And I hope you enjoyed this little long video, but you can see why I've decided to have to split it up in two parts. When we look at the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at both the new characters, Selma and Cynthia. As well as a bit more of the, the spawn premium, as well as Cynthia in her monster state, let's quote unquote. And yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, let me know down below if you like the fact that I kind of made the voice acting a little bit more interesting with the vocabulary pitches kind of changing uh i am still playing with it and i'm hoping this everything goes well here but uh yeah that's about it so let me know down below and uh oh surprise surprise no yawning in this episode hooray for no yawning thumbs it up
free no yawning. But with all jokes aside, thanks for watching up to this point. Uh, leave a like, a comment, or whatever you'd like to do, and I will be very much appreciated. So thank you, and good night.